These are the latest and greatest BDX units. Hello, how are you? Can I give you a little boop? But what makes these droids different is their personality. They're just so cute. So of course I wanted to try it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little dance. I'm gonna move his head around. Can I try tantrum? You can, absolutely. Get angry for a second. The actual way that it responds to me comes down to its training. Using ducklings as inspiration, Disney Imagineers created a series of animations, like in a Disney movie, for how the robot should walk or jump or shimmy. Then they put a digital version of the robot into a simulation. Most of the time when robots are trained this way, they're given a goal and then they're rewarded based on how well they meet that goal under different circumstances. So for example, walk from A to B over a different terrain. This is reinforcement learning. So we actually have some live training going on on our computers right now. So that's what you're seeing here is the thousands and thousands of robots trying different things, stumbling a little bit and trying something different. In this case though, the droids are rewarded not just for walking from A to B, but also for how closely they follow the animations while they do that. In a world that uses more and more robotics, how we feel about something, whether or not we feel something is cute, whether we feel something is well-intentioned as opposed to scary matters a lot for how much humans want to interact with robots. And that also must make the development, I mean, probably more fun, but also by definition more difficult because the reinforcement learning has two objectives. It has don't fall, but it also has be cute about it. And that's what's really challenging about a lot of Imagineering projects is we don't want our guests to see technology. We want them to fall in love with a character and feel things. I did feel things. It's hard not to love these little droids.